Hey everyone, Happy New Year, and I thought I'd start the new year off right having a little bit of fun with Photoshop today. I'll be taking photographs and turning them into pieces of art. And to do that, I'll be using Style Transfer, a Photoshop neural filter. Sit back, relax, and let's check it out. Hello everyone and welcome to the joy of editing and happy new year. Actually for me it's still the old year because I'm making this video on New Year's Eve. I do want to start this new year out with some fun and some creativity. We're just going to dive into the style transfer filter. I'm going to get in there and pull some sliders around. See if I can take this image and this one, this one, this one, and this one and see if we can turn them into pieces of art. Now what the style transfer filter does is it, it'll take a style from a piece of art or possibly a famous painting and transfers that over onto your photograph, which is pretty cool. And I've done some videos in the past about the style transfer filter, but I thought today we just look at several different images and just play around and have some fun, just moving those sliders around and see what kind of results I can actually come up with and hopefully encourage you to get into that style transfer filter and try it out for yourself. But now it's time for some fun. Let's go to the first example here. Now I have several different examples. These are all stock images and different types of uh, photography. This first one is fashion photography. So let's try this one out. I have my background layer here. We're going to come up to filter and neural filters. We'll launch the neural filters and you're going to find the style transfer in this section called featured. It's not in the beta section because it, I believe it's a fully developed filter at this point in time. It's called style transfer. So just click this. And when we do, we're gonna see a bunch of different artistic styles. And then if you click here, you're gonna see image styles and there's a bunch more in here. Now, I don't know why this is image styles and this says artistic styles. I'm not sure because they all look like art pieces to me. But you can even add your own custom uh, images as well. I'm not going to get into that today. I'll do another video where we do that. But for me, there's more than enough different styles here to get started with. But now it's time for some fun. Let's try some of these presets out. I'm going to start out with artistic styles. Let's click the first one here. And by the way, this now process is on the device rather than in the cloud. Isn't that cool right off the right out of the gate here? It looks really nice. I like it on this uh, fashion image. Okay. And let's uh, play with some of these sliders here. We have strength. This is just the amount of uh, effect that's going to apply like it's going to give it a stronger effect or a weaker effect and play around with it. But I find on zero, I kind of like the best. And then the opacity is nice. If you want to bring back some of the original image, you can bring the style opacity back like that. And I like to do that a lot because I think it brings a little bit of the original image back and it can look really cool. And I like it for this image. On this image, I would probably stop right here. You can also pull back in some of the detail by taking the slider and dragging it to the left and it'll remove some detail as you can see or you can pull it to the right and add more detail and of course you can blur out the background if you'd like i find sometimes i do it but more often than not i don't use the background blur on a piece of art like because i just like the artistic look to be honest with you and you have brightness and saturation you can give it more or less saturation but here's another nice feature and that's preserve color if you click this it'll preserve the original color which is nice in this case i don't like it sometimes i do sometimes the original color looks better but in this particular um preset i should say it looks good without that but then once i get a setting here i'll go through and try some different ones out and see what kind of result i get and let me just click through some of these. And it, it works pretty quick here. But I kind of like that one. That's nice. Let's try this one. Now you tell me when to stop. Hey, I heard somebody say stop. This is the one I like. I really like it a lot. There's a little line right here that I don't like. But, you know, we could use a clone stamp or a healing brush back in Photoshop and get rid of it. But I like that one. I think I'm going to stop here. So let's go ahead and click OK. 
And then I'll show you what I mean. I can come here, even on this layer right here, and grab a spot healing tool and just kind of uh, paint over this line a couple times and it gets fixed. From time to time, you'll get artifacts using the style transfer filter, but the spot healing tool is really great for correcting those problems. And now on to some more fun. Let's go to our next image and we'll launch the neural filter again and see what we can get with this one. So style transfer, I'll try the first one just to see what kind of result we get. Oh, that looks really cool. Let's try some different ones here. I'll just go for some random ones. Oh, I like that. Let's try this one. Oh, there it is for me. I really like that. Let's go to image styles. I know I can hear somebody out there saying, Dave, you're not trying image styles. Try image styles. Okay, I will. Let's try this one, the wave. This is a famous painting. I forget who does it. Somebody out there knows, and you could leave that in the comments if you know. This is that famous wave painting. I believe it's a Japanese artist. If I'm not mistaken, here's a Van Gogh. I know that right here. Let's try it. Oh, I do like that too. You just never know what you're going to get. How about this crazy one here? It looks like a bunch of symbols. Is that going to look good? Oh, that's kind of cool, like a sketch, right? Here is something over here. Let's try this one. And, oh, I like that too. That's kind of fun. How about Starry Night? There's a Van Gogh theme going on here. Oh, I do like that. Now, remember, we have Preserve Color, right? So we can click on Preserve Color and get the original color. Oh, isn't that cool? And don't forget, we have Saturation. Again, I'm playing here today, guys and gals. A little more. How about even more Saturation? And how about a little extra brightness? See what that does. Okay, maybe I'll pull it back just a little bit. How about a plus four? Here's the before, and here is the after. I do kind of like that. Let me pull back on the style opacity, because I usually like to try that, just to bring back some of the original. Yeah, look at that. Mm. This is my next year's Christmas greeting card. I can add some text up in here in Photoshop. Mm, I like it. Now, when you output this back, you have different choices here. I didn't mention this on the first image, but you have new layer, and that's generally what I use. But you can do current layer, new layer masked, um, smart filter. I usually like to use new layer, but now I think I'm going to start using new layer masked and click OK, because if you do that, it's going to give you a new layer with a layer mask in case you need to correct something. Like if I wanted to add some more uh, of the original image back into a certain area, I can use a layer mask to do that, which is kind of nice. So that's probably my new suggestion. Use the new layer with a mask. I think that makes sense. But here's the before and here's the after. Pretty fun. Let's move on to the next image. I have real high hopes for this one. This may be a wall hanging here. So let's launch Neuro again and style transfer and see what we can come up with. I'm going to start out with what Ed Edmund Munch Ed Edvard Munch maybe I can't remember. Oh look at that! Well, whoever you are, that looks really nice. Let's give it some more strength and see what we get here. Oh, that's getting really really intense. Let's go up the whole way. Let's see what the whole way does. Let's get wild here and have some real fun. Mm, really nice. Okay, that's really over the top and we can't really tell what it is right now, but what happens if I really pull back the opacity here? Let's experiment and see what we can get. You never know. Oh, you see? You never know what you're going to get. Now that looks pretty darn cool. I'm going to pull the opacity back even more and see what we get. Look at that. You just never know what you're going to get. So experiment. So full strength and play with that style opacity. And don't forget, you can preserve the original color. I always like to try that because you never know. It just might look better. But in, in this case, I like the original color of the original preset. So I'm going to uncheck it. And now we have the original color of the preset. Just for the heck of it, because I think I'm going to be happy with this. This looks cool. Let's try a different uh, preset here with that same setting and see what we get. It may be really toned back. Nah, but look at that. Mm, it's like a kid in a candy uh, store, isn't it? You know, it's like, well, I like that one. Now let's try this one. Do we like this one? This is real time, by the way, how, you know, how long it takes my computer to process it. It's an iMac 2019 model. I like that too. 
Let's try this one. And I will try one on the image styles as well. Ooh, that's really cool too. It looks like mountains back here. I like it. Yeah, and look, there's mountains in the preset. Okay, so we got a mountain theme. Let's try image styles. Let's try this one here with this cool looking cat here. Now this could go either way. We may like it, we may love it, we may absolutely hate it, but you know what? I absolutely love it. Let's preserve color and see what happens here. But you know, I love this. Look at this. Now on this one, preserve color looks great. I'm happy. Do you like it? Let me know in the comments section below. If you hate it, be kind, okay? Let's, uh, I'll put this with a new layer with a mask on it, just in case we need a layer mask and click OK. But let's check it out. Here's the before and here's the after. What do you think? I love it. All right, and now on to the next one. Hey, here's a sport image. Let's try it out. Let's see what we can get this time. Well, let's play, let's go to style transfer and let's start on image styles first this time. Let's go crazy. Let's go with this wave here and see what kind of result we get. Wait for it. Oh man, that is cool. I actually like it. Why should I even go from here? Because I want to try this cat and see if this cat can be as cool as it was before. It's not as cool, but it's, it's kind of nice. But what happens if I take the strength up the whole way and get really crazy here? I know it's going to look like, um, oh, I actually kind of think it looks a little bit better, but let's pull back on the style opacity and see what happens here. I'm still thinking of that wave, but you know, I kind of like it. It kind of reminds me of um, maybe uh, Yellow Submarine by the Beatles, something like that, a Peter Max or something like that. I actually kind of say I kind of like this a lot, actually. Let me pull it back. Again, you never know in these things. They may look really horrible at first, but then when you start playing with them, they start looking really great. You know what? I don't know. Let's try one more. Let's try this Van Gogh right here. I may come back to that. What was it? Was it the cat? I think it was the cat. Oh, I like this too. Well, it's all so good. You know, they're all good. Again, a kid in a candy store. Let's go back here. Is it the cat? I think it was the cat. Was it the cat? Here's the Van Gogh. Yeah, here's the Van Gogh. Here's the cat. Now I'm going with this one. I do like Van Gogh, but I'm going with a cat and I'm going to output it with a mask. Not that I'm going to use that mask, but I'm going to output it with that mask. So here's the before and here is the after. I really like it. Here's my last one and a rock star here. I don't know who this guy is, but whatever. He looks really cool. Let's try him out and see, will this work with rock images? It may or may not. This may be, if you're a rock artist, this may be your next CD or album cover. So let's try it out. Style transfer. Oh, let me see here. Let's try the first one. Ooh, looking pretty good. I think I have one that may work. This one right here. I think it's Edvard Munch. I'm probably wrong on that. And I know you'll correct me if I am. So I thank you for that. Yeah, look at that. Oh, I like this one. It's really cool. Let's try the preserve color and see what happens. Do I like the original colors? Yeah, I do like the original colors. You know what? I like this one. Just for the heck of it, let me pull up the uh, style strength on this and see what happens here. This may, again, may look really great. It may look really bad. I don't like it as much, but let me pull back style opacity just to see because I was fooled on those other images, but not so much on this one. That's not bad. Let's bring up the style opacity a little more, bring a little more. Now, you know what? I'm taking the style opacity the whole way up and I'm taking the strength the whole way back because I think this is the one I like. This is the one I like. I'm going to say uh, new layer with a layer mask. This time, I think I'm going to use the layer mask to bring a little more detail back into the face, hair, and possibly the guitar. So on this layer mask, I'm going to get a black brush, which I already have here. And I have an opacity of like 30%. I'm just going to paint that on his face a little bit and maybe on his hair here a little bit, bring back some of that original hair. And maybe some of this guitar here, bring a little bit of detail, maybe on his hand, a little bit, this hand back here in this part of the guitar, back in here, maybe on the shirt here and here. And I think he looks really cool. This could be the next um, 
album cover. What do you think? Here's the before and here's the after. And don't forget, you have this layer mask that you can work with as well. Now, I just have one more image to show you, and that is this image here. Now, it starts out looking like this, and it ends up looking like this. And basically, what I did was I sent this one into the neural filter, and it came back looking like this. Now, let me shut the uh, layer mask off because I did some masking on this. This is the way it looked when it came back, like this. And uh, I thought it was losing too much detail in the face, so I brought back some of the detail in the face and the freckles, because the freckles were so cute. You know, you got to have those freckles. And then I added a, um, a texture to this, because I thought maybe a texture will look good, because I just want to show you, you can combine textures and different things with these style transfers, okay, and make them look kind of interesting. And then I didn't like this line that was coming here on her nose, so I sent it into, uh, I stamped this on a layer here and sent this into Liquify and just pulled that in a little bit. I thought that looked better. So we start out looking like this, and we end up like this. So style transfer, a little bit of texture, mainly in the background here and a little bit of liquify on here just to give you an idea you don't have to take things just the way it comes out because you know what we're photoshop editors and we like to get in there and go crazy because that's part of the joy of editing well there you go everyone and i hope you had fun today watching this video and you enjoyed it Give this a try yourself, the uh, Style Transfer Neural Filter in Photoshop. It's a lot of fun. Try some different images out that you have and see what you can come up with. You know, think greeting cards, think Christmas cards, think um, a nice art piece that you can frame and hang on your wall. Add something to a website, advertisement, album covers, <laughs> rock albums, country albums, Costco albums, whatever you like. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon. Then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.